Fiction families, we're going to do a quick tutorial video on how to paint your dancer's shoes. I've got all the supplies I need here and the most important one of course is your paint. You can get this at our reception desk at the studio. It's $3 per bottle and we have white and tan out at the studio at the moment. All the instructions you're going to need are printed right on the bottle here, but I'm going to walk you through the steps just to give you an idea of how easy it is to paint your dancer's shoes. So first you're going to need obviously the shoes that your dancer will be wearing for recital. Next you're going to need a foam paintbrush, which you can get these at Michael's for about 50 cents. So if you buy them in bulk, you'll have them for a couple of years, several sets of dancer shoes, or if they have two different types of shoes that need different colors, you'll have plenty on hand. And then you also need sandpaper. A fine grit sandpaper is usually the best to use because you're just trying to scuff up the shoes a little bit. You're not really trying to make really deep abrasions. This can also be found at Michael's or any other kind of craft store. You can also find both of these at a hardware store nearby you if you have one nearby. You're going to need newspaper because we're going to stuff our shoe with newspaper to help it hold its shape and also to keep the paint from getting on the inside of the shoe. And then I usually place my shoes on a paper towel to keep it from getting all over the place and getting messy on the surface that I'm painting. And I also use a disposable paper plate. You could use a piece of cardboard or anything that's around to kind of put the paint on. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to start off by sanding our shoe. So you take your piece of sandpaper, I usually like to kind of curve it, put my hand into the shoe, and then you just kind of scuff it up a little bit on all the sides. Now the reason why we do this is because you want the shoe to get a little bit of an abrasion on the outside so that the paint will stick to it better. sand the shoe than I am right now. I just want to make this a quick video, but you just don't need to do too much. You just want it to be a little bit rough on the surface. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my newspaper and stuff it into the shoe. For the ballet shoes, I usually tuck the laces underneath because you're not going to be able to really paint the laces too well and they get tucked inside the shoe anyway, but you are going to want to paint the elastic band. The elastic band is going to be visible and you want that to match the rest of the shoe. So now you take some of your paint and you don't really need a lot of paint. This bottle should paint at least two pairs of shoes, sometimes three with the little one's shoes. And you're going to dip your brush in and start to paint the shoe. And the foam brush is great because it gives you the advantage of being able to press it into the crevices and get that painted exactly where it needs to go. And don't feel like you have to kind of glop the paint on and do a really thick coat. You don't need a thick coating to make the color adhere. And you don't want to do a thick coat because it'll take that much longer for the paint to dry. So this is something that's really quick and easy to do. Something you could do in the middle of watching TV once all the kids are asleep and you have a spare minute or during the day while they're at school. And you just get all the sides of the shoe. And again, you make sure that you use that brush to get into the crevices, especially with the fabric part at the top of the shoe. Just to show you how I usually do the elastic band, just kind of hold it and then press the paint onto that elastic band. So you kind of do get a little messy with your fingers sometimes, but it'll wash right off. So after you were done putting the first coat of paint on the shoe, you would let the shoe dry ideally overnight because that way you'll be able to put a second coat on the next day and that's it. Just two coats of the paint, a little bit of scuffing with the sandpaper, and the shoe is ready for dress rehearsal. Make sure that they're ready and done for dress rehearsal because it's really easy to tell if the shoe isn't painted from stage, and you'll see what I mean if it happens 
um, that they just don't match and it's really, really obvious. So if you get these done and painted for dress rehearsal, sometimes you can do it right after their last class and then in between that and dress rehearsal, it'll be ready to go. After dress rehearsal, if the shoe gets scuffed or you see that there's paint missing, you'll still have your bottle of paint and hopefully one of these so that you can do some touch-ups before recital. But that's how easy it is to paint your shoes. If you have any questions, you can always call us or come right up to the reception desk at the studio. We'll be happy to help. Bye, guys.